angry, speak your voice kind of thing, like against someone doing something. Mm-hmm. Like something that will actually get you angry, is what I'm asking. Um, I think if, like, with me, it's kind of like if I get pushed to a certain point, then I have the potential to get angry. But up until this point, I haven't really ever, like, you know, gotten to that threshold. I tend to uh, not uh, suffer fools lightly. Like, uh, well, I think it's more of like a. ENTP thing than like a gentle spirit thing or whatever, but I like if someone like I don't know if they're like unfathomably like stupid, I, it like almost makes me angry in a way, and I almost I feel the need like just to call them out and like I don't know. Well, I don't know if that's, that's really pretty good stupid thing. though. They have to be pretty stupid, Pepsi. They have to be unfathomably, yeah. unfathomably. Yeah. Stupid. So that yeah. means no matter how many fathoms down you drop the the distance meter rope from the boat, it'll never reach the bottom because the bottom cannot be reached without any length of rope. That's unfathomable. Mm-hmm. Nick, why are you why are you busting why are you busting the the ontological whoop ass stick on on Pepsi, huh? I'm not. I mean, ENTP, gentle spirit, it would look kind of like that. If it could exist, if it existed in the wild. You think it exists? Yeah, I think um, Pepsi would be one. That would fit. Uh, he's, How he's do you know like, you're an ENTP, Pepsi? Have you done the. the yeah. Test? I've took. Well, yeah, I've took the test multiple times, different tests. I've researched it for a long time, even the same type, uh, and yeah, it's the one that best identifies me the most, and I think it's really obvious in my walking life and stuff, just thinking about That's myself. Fair yeah. That's fair enough. He's trolled on here before, yeah, I know he's seen ETP. <laughs> yeah, it's this other thing called cinema insult, where he just insults things. Hello. It's not very oh. gentle of you. That's just a name, but... Oh, it's just a name. Okay. So you don't yeah. actually insult things? No. Oh. I assumed you insulted things. The meaning the meaning behind that name is uh, is kind of a joke because the stuff I make, because I make, like, uh, uh, movies and stuff, my movies are really bad. That's an insult to cinema. Oh, I see. It's self-deprecating. Yeah. How gentle of you. How what a gentle spirit you are. I mean I buy it. <laughs> I buy ENTP gentle spirit. Is there a correlation between the four seven nine tri type and being self deprecating? And do you guys all do that too? Yeah, I do that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Michelle's, you're five four one, right? Yeah, mine's different. Mine's five eight. Oh, five eight. Sorry, five eight. Five eight four. Five eight four. That's what she is. Self-deprecation is an understandable uh, habit to get into. It's generally pretty safe. If you do it well, it can diffuse moments of social overreach sometimes as well. I find it easier to joke around if I start with like jokes about myself. Or like a lot safer than saying something to somebody or something that might be personal to somebody. So, are you guys all concerned about hurting other people's feelings? Yeah, I don't think I would naturally. 
I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't intentionally try to hurt anybody's feelings. Pepsi? I'm not saying, I'm not saying, so are all of you non-malevolent? You don't go out of your way to hurt people's feelings. But I'm saying, to what extent is, is the risk of hurting someone's feelings enough of a harm that's going to dissuade you from, from doing things that might hurt somebody's feelings most of the time? Whereas for me, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but it's going to happen sometimes. And I just consider it part of the cost of doing business, so to speak, you know? Some feelings get hurt, some toes get stepped on, I make some mistakes, yada, yada, yada. I had that problem of it, like, keeping me from doing stuff. Like, I wouldn't do what I want to do or express everything I wanted to express because I was afraid of how people might take things. Hmm. Is there something that sometimes you just have to do? Is that what she said? Um, like say or do or things out. Usually it's like ideas I want to express or something, but if worry it might sound dumb or it might not come across to everybody like as harmless as it is to me. Patrick, what do you think about all that? Do you have any position on these questions regarding the hurting of other people's feelings? How much is it a matter of concern to you? And whether or not you uh, you think that, um, that it, it causes you to not take action out of concern for possibilities? Out of concern for possibilities? And what try type are you again? Uh, five four nine. Five four nine. Some, some, some sort of five four nine nine five four whatever something like that. Okay. But and, and that's mostly in a public setting. Private setting, you know, there's a, other things come out when you're uh, when you're with people that you know well. It's true. So while, while I feel like I tr I generally try to keep some sort of peace between people, it, it doesn't always happen. Okay. Five four nine. The contemplative, triple withdrawn, triple withdrawn. Five Excellent point withdrawn. Five, eight, five, four. There was, there was a, an Olympic event with a gold medal for withdrawing. I'd be competitive. So, what is, do you contemplate while you withdraw? Yeah, a lot of times it's very introspective. What do you contemplate? How, how, do you say how? No, what? What sort of things do you contemplate about? Uh, the things that people do. Connections between... Various things. Uh, you, know, you know, when I was when I was a kid, I would uh, I would contemplate about how the human organs represented society, or how how the human body functioned like society functions. What type do you self-identify as? Personality. I don't self -identify. I don't. I, I don't anymore. <laughs> what did you used to? I, I you know, I've never really. I've had people tell me I'm this type or that type, but my understanding of the different 
functions is I, I use a little bit of each of them. But, right, but you only have a certain number of hours in the day and some approaches to things are more effective for you than others if you encounter new things. Well, my person, you know, what I, what I uh, was interested in growing up was, let me just, Uh, I, I, you know, I just really like to, to think about, like, how the cells in the liver represent the individuals of a group, and they all have to be working together, or else the liver's not going to function. But that's, like, you know, it's the same thing that functions, the same thing that Society functions, that type of thing. That's what I prefer to do, but that's not what I have to do in general to get through life. Huh. So, I mean, given the fact that, all right, that sort of thing, I mean, that's introverted thinking. It seems to me you're probably an INTP, possibly an ISTP. Uh,. Do you consider yourself introverted? You know, now I do. Did you used to consider yourself extroverted? I mean, you know, when I was a teenager, a little bit more, yeah. I can be pretty outgoing when I need to be. I think you're an INTP. It's not always that, that interesting. I mean, I see you. I, get, I, get, I, get, I, I, I got INTP from you, ENTP from you. I've gotten uh, uh, some sort of SP or NJ type from other people. You know, because I, I really kind of use a lot of the, the different functions. Well, I mean, we all use all the functions, but the thing is, there's also a finite number of hours in any given day. If, for example, I'm going to keep track of my schedule, then I'm going to spend, if I'm going to keep track of my schedule and take care of all my little shit, like keep track of my schedule, pay all my bills on time, make sure I know when all the bills are due, uh, check off everything on my list, be on top of everything, I'm going to have to spend a fair amount of hours in introverted sensing, thinking about those things actively or attending to them actively. It takes time to do something with a cognitive function. So those hours now are no longer available for some other approach to attention, which is what a cognitive function ultimately is. Mm -hmm. So when people tell me that they, oh, well, I'm not any of those things. I, uh, to me, it sounds like you don't understand what's happening here. You do have a finite hour like everybody else. And you do spend no, a disproportionate amount of your hours in one manner of attention and not another. I agree. I, I agree with what you're saying. What I am trying to allude to is that sometimes when you have uh, external circumstances that you have to take care of, then you end up putting a lot more time in other functions that you than you would necessarily want to. So then you end up developing those whether you want to or not. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, well that well, it's interesting, but that's not a video. I wasn't making a video on that. That's I was just talking about that. That's what? I said, that was interesting, and then I checked.